Hey guys, so today I want to have a look here at iOS 9 beta 4 uh, on the iPhone 6 and uh, okay I see I forgot to remove some phones here This was my last video with a lot of uh, Xperia phones here I need to Well, there's a lot of phones here. Yeah, I need to put them down so <laughs> let's see here iOS 9 iOS 9 a new beta yeah as I said there iOS 9 beta 4 uh, they have made some updates uh, but uh, most of it seems to be pretty pretty small changes overall uh, if we first take a look here in settings uh, they have changed so now you can see notifications here is uh, in instead of like a green color it is now in uh, a red color uh, you do have you go into general here spotlight search now it provides you should provide Bing web results there as an option and you still have the same thing with the uh, uh, Siri here it doesn't make any sound well let Wait a sec. Oops. Oh yeah, I did reset the settings, so I need to enable Siri again. Enable. So Siri is still quiet. Doesn't make the Bing sound. It seems like Apple may be removing that completely. What's up? Huh. It's uh, thinking today. <laughs> oh yeah, that's because I'm not connected to Wi-Fi because I did reset the settings let's just connect here just gonna type in the password the update is also 300 to 350 megabytes uh, let's see here hi what are you doing baby <laughs> You just have this uh, sort of vibration there. Uh, another thing also that you removed in like beta 3 and it still seems to be gone is this kind of finger swipe thing. So uh, you had that in iOS 9, the other versions where you can do two finger swipe to get this kind of cursor. Uh, but it's not in here in the beta 4, it's not in beta 3. So it's a little bit uh, confusing there. Uh, if we, yeah, no, another thing that seems to be adding again is uh, this thing. They kind of remove this in some betas how you can use volume up and down to take pictures. Seems like they did remove that in uh, the earlier betas. But it's now back again. Sweet. Uh, they also added some other stuff I have heard in, um, in, um, in home sharing with the music. So you can definitely explore that. Here, show Apple Music, uh, and let's see here. Yeah, they haven't. Yeah, there we go. Home sharing. Sweet. Uh, so you says with the earlier beta three, you do get the brand new Apple Music here down here, which is pretty good because it is in a three month trial at the moment. I'm just gonna open up here and. yeah this uh, three month music trial apple's uh, spotify competitor in streaming music kind of nice uh, for some reason when i search for stuff in the spotlight oh wait a sec now now it may be bringing up results yeah i don't always get results i'm not quite sure why but it is a beta uh, and another thing that still i find a little bit disappointing it is if we open up a couple of apps here and go into multitasking it's still kind of slow at least when you go back in scrolling I really wish that it did speed that up again because um, it was better in earlier versions of iOS it's so slow and it looks a little bit laggy I find You still have, of course, the news app, 
which can bring you some interesting news from some uh, some various sources. I use Feedly for my news, but uh, this looks pretty okay for a starter as a news service. Hmm, preparing your news, sweet. But you can see here, pretty nice app. You can easily scroll up and down. And add uh, various uh, things. That is cool. Let's see here, still have the control center, of course. But I still find in the UI sometimes it's a little bit hard to navigate. I'm not quite sure. It feels like I get stuck sometimes on stuff. And it also feels a little bit sluggish, like laggish, lag uh, or something in the UI. I definitely feel that Apple needs to do something. I mean, step it up for some reason. It feels like it's getting really behind Android in terms of excitement. But um, yeah, quickly a video checking out the brand new beta 4 out for developers at the moment. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Peace.